love you guys. It's three and a year. I am proudly and happy to announce that I passed my SPI exam. Woo! This exam is one of the more important exams that we as sonography students need to pass. It's like it's a board exam that we need to pass in order to take our other certifications so i needed to pass the spi exam so i can take adult echo and vascular sonography and i passed it um so i just want to show you guys the proof so right there it says pass the date spi and i signed on through ardms that is the um what you get your certification of RDMS, those are basically what are they like diagnostic medical. So they're like the group for ultrasound sonographers. That where we get our certifications. I think that's where we have to go to get our CMEs when we are when we pass our exams. They are important people and important branch within the sonography community. It's ARDMS. And I pass. So next, I'm going to show you my score. Um, I just want to say this, guys. Score doesn't matter really. I mean, it doesn't matter. You need to get a 555, but in my opinion, as long as it says pass, it doesn't matter if you got a 555. If you if it says pass, you pass. Do not compete with any of your other classmates if your classmate got like a 600 and you only got a 555 it doesn't matter as long as it says pass that's what matters so i just want to say that before i say show my score i but i actually did pretty good and i think it's because all the studying i did is why i got a 648 you guys out of 700 in my opinion that is very good but i think that's because I studied like crazy you guys and I am here to tell you and tell you how I studied and prepared so and how my school prepared me because not only did I prepare myself but my school also prepared me in a sense so, with physics we had physics one and physics two we had physics in the spring and we had physics in the summer physics in the spring whoo guys that was a doozy um because it was all new to a lot of my classmates we were all like a lot a good amount of us we were like ooh, this isn't easy because it's new materials ultrasound physics so it's basically everything you need to know about the machine everything you know you need to know about like it says imaging principles you need to know about doppler imaging like it's everything you need to know about ultrasound and it is confusing i'm just gonna say it. it's confusing <laughs> especially when you're not into physics and you don't have no interest in physics you're like what the heck is this i'm telling you guys um the reason i am so happy about my um score is because guys when i tell you i was struggling with physics i was struggling with physics i literally got a letter in the mail for possible dismissal if i didn't improve my grade so that's why the fact that i got a 648 makes me so happy because guys i almost could have gotten like dismissed from the program if i didn't improve my grade so this grade like it's a whole other level for me because I studied so hard for this exam since spring into the summer you bet I was looking at physics even in between all my other exams for the program I was still focusing on physics like it's physics for a good portion of the year will become your life because you are going to want to pass that you don't want to like the exam itself is already expensive it's like 200 and something dollars who is who is about to retake that exam and take pay 200 200 something dollars again i certainly wasn't i cannot i'm the type of person i if i can fight so hard to not have to retake something i will fight so hard i know there's circumstances that you may have to retake it because you just didn't do good and that's understandable but for this i was like no way am i taking this again so i fall and i studied so hard for this exam um like i said physics 
um, one we took in spring. It was an introduction, so we used the green book. Um, I'll post. A, I'll try to flash a picture of the green book. I feel like a lot of programs use the green book. Um, it's just a staple in ultrasound physics, so you'll probably use it too. And I use the um, whatever PowerPoint my professors gave me. I use that to study. So that's basically me spring semester. It's the green book. And PowerPoints that's my life spring semester then into summer semester we have physics 2 so physics 2 is basically a recap of everything we learned in physics 1 it's just to keep physics material continu continuously going in our brain because by the end of summer we are supposed to take our SPI exam so summer two um phases two we are still looking over i'm still looking over the green book still looking over the powerpoint taking quizzes and final exams and everything and then towards the end of the um summer which was july 31st to Jul july 31st to august 1st i think this is what kind of just took my grade and just helped me just grasp the knowledge to the max is I did the Edelman's conference um, for physics so I made I'll try to post a link for the conference in the link below um, so right now as you know you guys know we have COVID so a lot of thing is online so the Edelman's conference was online. I think that the fact that they did the Edelman's conference online was awesome. I hope they continue to do it online because usually they do conferences, big conferences in big venues and you're with some other people who are trying to take it and you have your book and you just, I don't know. I knew if I had it, if it was, I knew for me if the Edelman's conference wasn't online, I wouldn't have taken it honestly i can't do going to venues with other people around sitting around i think the fact that i was, was able to take the elements conference in the comfort of my own home was a plus but i think it also helped that red book is a lifesaver i'm just gonna put it out there the red book was it which is like that book so it the red book basically is the green book but condensed into a much smaller and simpler terms. Um, the Red Book is basically the Edelman, Edelman, who's the, um, the founder of the Edelman Conference, because the Edelman Conference doesn't only do um, physics. They do a program, they do a conference for vascular students, they do a conference for the echo, like they do for avid, uh, um, general ultrasound, so they do conferences for different exams. So if you're about to take your SPI exam, you're going to take the ultrasound physics, Edelman's ultrasound physics, which is the one I took. That helped me a lot. Um, he basically said that he's giving you enough information to pass. He's not expecting you to get an A, but he's expecting you with this his red book. He's expecting you to at least pass the exam, which is exactly what I did. I And he also said... The best time to take his course is literally within a few weeks of um, taking your exam. So, which is basically also what I did. I had his conference July 31st to August 1st, and I took my exam August 22nd. I felt like that was the best thing I could have done for myself because it was just the best recap of physics, ultrasound physics. The best recap, it brought everything together and then he also, with his conference, you get the um, exome, which is practice test and exams for the physics exam. So I feel like that just helped me a lot. So that will be like my biggest, 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 biggest suggestion is taking the Edelman's conference for physics. Um, just because it was the best, like, it was just the best way to just bring everything together. It is expensive. I am not going to lie. I don't know why it's just so expensive. It's like $325. I guess it's so expensive because it is worth it. It is worth it. It's expensive, but it's worth it. So my best advice is start saving for it. Like, save for the conference and definitely do the conference. Because it's just the best 
thing you can do for yourself. The book literally all all you have to do is look at that book, guys. He says read it through at least twice. Answer the questions at the back. Do Exxon and you'll pass. That's my biggest advice. Don't and my also my other advice is don't go into the Exxon not having any exposure to physics. The facts that I had exposure to physics during the spring and the summer semester is what also helped me pass. You should have exposure before you do the elements, the Edelman's conference. But the fact that I had exposure those two semesters and then I took the Edelman's conference is what helped me pass. It mixed with all the like the really the studying. If you study and just put dedication, you'll pass that. Like the people say, it's hard. And I'm not saying it's not hard, but if you study, like, literally, things you read in the book are going to be on exam. Like, things I'm like, oh my god, I literally feel like I've seen that in my book. It was because it was in the book. Like, literally, just study hard. Make sure you um, expose yourself to physics enough and take the Edelman's course and you'll pass. That's my big- biggest suggested my biggest advice to passing because guys i passed and i'm so happy from someone who was about to be dismissed from the program to passing and getting a pretty high score take this advice leave comments down below if i can i'll type them out and i'll answer them sorry sometimes when i'm talking i lose my train of thought so if i didn't explain it well just drop a comment and I will definitely explain it better with a um, written message and I'll hope you guys pass. Leave a comment down below if you pass. I want to know if you guys pass. So good luck guys. Wish y'all the best in your sonography journey. Do not give up. It's going to be hard sometimes but you'll get through it guys. Don't give up. You got this.